It's an absolutely beautiful day here today. I'm just out at Mount Bolton. It's 25 degrees Celsius, beautiful autumn day, clear skies, except for that fire, that smoke from a, a fire that just went up. Obviously a farmer burning off a paddock. But I thought today I'd take the time to just update you on where I am with the handlebars. After my recent video, this video here, uh, this is the thumbnail to it, I'll put a link to this video in the description below and at the end of this video, uh, just talking about handlebar adjustments and uh, making the bike more comfortable for you just by purely adjusting the handlebars. So I thought it's been a couple of days of riding around with the bars adjusted, so I thought I'd give you an update to let you know where it's at and um, uh, what I think of it. In that video I had tried the bars back and then I moved the, rotated the bars forward. I didn't like the bars back, they sort of sat the bar too low and also uh, just had a weird sort of feeling. The handling was alright but just, just didn't feel as good to ride so I ended up adjusting the bars forward and now the, um, the leverage point of the handlebars if you like is a little forward of the pivot point which is down here. So what happens is you end up, um, well uh, I end up feeling like the handlebars are rotating ahead of the pivot point. I'll try and explain what I'm, I'm talking about there. So with the handlebars uh, being rolled a little bit forward, um, the the bike when I'm when I'm putting leverage on the handlebars, it feels like the bars are which they are ahead of the pivot point, which is down in here, and so I get this uh, sensation where um, instead of you know turning the bars like like this around the pivot point, they're ahead of the pivot point, and I have this sort of um, action. And so what happens is, when I go into a corner, uh, because I'm sort of ahead of the pivot point of the front forks, when I turn in, I'm sort of um, turning around the, the, the pivot, and as I turn in, it sort of it just drops in at the last bit, and I feel the bike just drop into the turn, and it, sort of, it catches me a little bit. And I really don't like that. I had a nice you know, neutral, neutral steering on the pivot prior, and with it forward, and, and having that sort of um, forward of the pivot action, and just having it sort of drop in uh, as I'm turning, it's just, yeah, I don't like it at all. So I'm going to roll the handlebars back to a more neutral position, just a little bit, and then uh, try that again. But yeah, having, the, having your leverage point forward, uh, your bars roll forward, where they're forward of the pivot point, is... Uh, has a detrimental effect to handling. Having them behind the pivot point as they were in my Vaquero for instance where you've got the tiller bars and you're sort of steering from back here it doesn't seem to affect the handling. It just uh, it has a like a, a weird sensation you have to get used to but it doesn't actually affect the handling of the bike. Um, so it's interesting when you're forward of that pivot point it just it does affect the handling but being right on or back um, it doesn't affect the handling so much I find. So I'm just going to roll those bars back to neutral and I'll grab my handy handy toolkit. Now it was a 12 mil from memory. It's a 12. Move the key out of the way. And put these tools back in in case I lose something. Just loosen these off. 12, 14. There we go. When I'm doing this, I keep my hand on this side of the spanner so, so my hand's hitting the bike, not the actual spanner. Right, so I just got them loosened off. Let's put everything down here for a tick. Have a sit on the bike and find a, a more neutral pivot point. Don't think it needs to come back much. I think we'll try there. Gets a bit more neutral. I 
Okay, I think we're pretty pretty good there. So they are back a little bit. Uh, my levers and controls are sitting up a little bit. I have to adjust my mirrors to compensate. That's pretty good there. So I'm going to ride around like that for a bit and uh, see how that feels. So adjusting the handlebars has been a pretty interesting exercise this week and I've not noticed most difference uh, around town actually. I don't notice it so much on the highway, uh, it's just around town that uh, I noticed the handling affected by having the leverage point ahead of the pivot point. But now I've rolled it back a little bit, it still feels like it's forward of where it was when I first got the bike but not as far forward as I had it so the test is going to be you know in these sort of conditions already it feels more neutral it feels definitely um, better I probably won't really feel it until I'm back in town where you're going around roundabouts and you know, going backwards and forwards uh, sorry left and right and just that change of direction is where I could feel it sort of just falling into the corners because of that um, pivot point it's actually how much it's actually amazing how much difference that made okay I've been riding around for about an hour or so with the handlebars in the newer position and uh, yeah I'm, I'm quite liking it it's just it's, it's, it's a little forward of where it was the whole time I've owned the bike when I first got it um, but yeah back from where I had set it up uh, just on my last video about the handlebars but yeah, this position I think it's feeling pretty good you know my back's feeling pretty good um, I feel like I have good control over the bike I can change direction easy it doesn't feel like it's sort of a forward of the pivot point when I'm trying to turn the handlebars so I'm going to leave it in this position for a while I think uh, once I spend a few hours on it in, in, at one time, I think it'll be uh, a better indication. But, you know, I've had an hour on it and been on gravel roads and highway and, um, yeah, it's been pretty good. It does feel in a more natural position for me as it is here. Uh, I do feel like I'm sort of, it's, it's a little bit away from me, but um, it still feels pretty comfortable and I'm not sacrificing too much or, or anything in the way of control so um, I'm liking it. If you've made it this far thank you so much for watching today uh, as always thank you for your support I really appreciate it and hopefully I can get to see all of you again in the next one. Bye for now.